Hi, welcome to ChessTraps.net and today we'll be taking a look at one of my favourite openings and a trap within which we call the flagship trap. The opening is the Ponziani, not too common nowadays although it has been tried by Magnus Carlsen and uh, Nakamura and in its day it was favoured by the best player in the world, uh, Howard Staunton. Let's get straight to it. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6 and here White tries c3 in order to try and get an early d4 in. Well, there's a few good moves here for black, knight f6 being one of them, hitting the pawn on e4, because the knight on b1 can't get to c3, its natural defensive square. But white goes for the d4 thrust anyway. Black could take on d4, but knight takes e4 is probably even more popular. As Weissenschurgen in between move. D5 hitting the knight on c6. The knight retreats to e7 and white gets his pawn back. Well, d6 here is a common mistake for black, so the correct move is knight g6. Um, probably the best move here would be uh, queen d4. However, here white can unleash a trap. If the knights are going to get swapped off anyway, the knight on e4 and e5, why not? Uh, get a pawn for it anyway. Bishop d3, inducing knight takes f2, hoping for king takes f2 and knight takes e5. So after knight takes f2, here white happily gives up his queen because after bishop takes g6, if black continues, knight takes d1, it's game over. Bishop takes f7, check, king e7. Bishop g5, amongst other things, lands the queen. However, there's more to be had. And after king d6, knight c4, forcing king c5. Correct move here is not to take the queen. Rather, guard the knight on c4. And after knight a3, if black take knight, a queen takes g5, he gets mated with b4. Alternatively, if uh, black would have tried something like... Uh, knight takes on b2 then the bishop could have come back to e3 and that would have been mate as well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it bye